This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm Brittany, I'm from Escanaba, Michigan, and I'm 21 years old. Camp is a log cabin that my grandparents had built. As a child, Brittany was a tomboy. That's my Brit. Loved being outside, loved being in the woods. Yes, I love the outdoors, and I love fishing, and I love four-wheeling, I love all that. I used to go to camp quite a bit. I know she would like to be up there more, and I'm hoping that can happen again someday. I'm addicted to cocaine, basalt, Ritalin, whatever it is, Adderall, Falkland. You can definitely tell when she is on an upper. She talks extremely fast. I'm at a high pace. My heart's just racing. I, I, my brain overloads. Yep, OK, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go already. She is an addict and a thief. We put a padlock on. I went with a heavier metal because the old lock Brittany had busted it to get in. Brittany steals from our family all the time. I know, I'm gonna dig to the basement and see if I can find something I can pawn. She takes anything she wants. It's like she feels like she's entitled to it. Clothes, money, tools, anything that she can sell to get money. Right here. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I know that she has gotten in legal trouble. She's been in jail before. Brittany's gone into a seizure because of the drugs. She's also died three times because of the drugs, where um, th in the hospital they lost her. She's not going to make it. She continues using like this. I can't even move. What the hell? Dad! Dad! Brittany's relationship with her father is basically non-existent. Brittany's dad was never there for Brittany. He really didn't do much for her. I'm just waiting. Maybe one day he'll decide that he wants to change and that he wants to be a part of my life. It was fun. We were all happy. It was fun, yes. Brittany wanted to be the best. She wanted to excel in everything. Her grades were fantastic. I mean, she had a 3.8 grade average. She was in wrestling, and she loved it. She made a lot of boys cry on the mat, uh, and she was very good at it. When Brittany went to live with her father, I feel like she got a little bit closer to her dad. But Brittany did not feel accepted by her stepmom. My stepmom, she was always bitching at me. So I was a straight A student because I had one B. She told me I wasn't good enough. Brittany's stepmom didn't want her around. She hit me all the time. She treated me like <laughs> Finally went to school with a busted ass up lip, and the school teacher, the um, counselor at school is the one that got CPS involved. Brittany's father never really did anything to protect her. I don't know, he didn't want to admit that the abuse and was actually happening mentally and physically, so. He was like, Brittany, quit your lying, and nothing like that didn't happen. The thing is, he's not there when somebody's hurting Brittany. Brittany was by herself when she was hurt. Then he kind of just calls me out and was like, oh, I got a junkie for our daughter. That's cool. Well, I'm just going to disown her now.
Brittany feels betrayed by her own father that he chose his wife over his own daughter. I smoked pot and then I got into drinking and then drinking led to pills and then pills led to shooting up. I got into a crowd that accepted me. I wanted to party all the time. I wanted to fit in with them, and I fit in just fine, and I spent more time with them than I did at home. Those people made her feel accepted, like they are one of them, and she fits in with them. The family didn't matter anymore. Nobody mattered anymore. My family wasn't there. Dad wasn't there. I hated my family. I did not want to be around any of them anymore. Since Brittany's gotten married, her whole life has just become worse in every way. Shane beat Brittany, and he ripped her shirt off of her. I went and picked her up, and I cried looking at her. I have no idea why Brittany's with this guy. He's there for me. I can be who I am around him. He doesn't judge me for who I am. If Brittany stays with her husband, she's going to die. See ya. All right, let's do it. Brit. Brit, let me talk to you. Brittany. Brit. Brit, please. Brittany, come on. Brit, come on. Brittany, come on. Come on, no, you don't hate her. I love you. Everybody loves you here. Love yes, you. yes, you do. I you. I'm here. I'm here. Look at me. I'm here. We want to help you. I I'm love you. You need help. Yes, you do need help. Come here. Please, please, please. Come on. Dad's here. I'm here. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. I don't know a lot about your addiction. Uh, I, I know that uh, some of the things you're doing, you know, I was up in the hospital when you overdosed. I've never seen nothing like that, and I don't want to ever see it again. The things I remember about you, Britt, I was proud of your grades. You always had good grades. I was very proud of that. Your wrestling thrilled me every time I seen you get on the mat. That was just great. The intensity and everything you brought to the table. Watching you play basketball. Watching you run track. I would also like to add that uh, I'm sorry you felt abused when you were in our, in our household, and I'm sorry I wasn't there for you for that. Sometime down the road, when you want to talk about that, I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you about it. It's time to accept this help, and I really hope you do. I love you very much. I want the best for you. Please accept it, Britt. Please do this, Brittany. Yeah, they, but when they, do they, I have to go? They have a ticket waiting for you today. I don't want to just get up and leave. I don't want to do that. We are here for a very short period of time. We have a flight this afternoon in a few hours. You can do this. Okay, in a few hours I can go. Yeah. Bye, Brett. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Good job, Dad.